let's talk about today's team. We're going to be featuring Reuniclus. We're going to be featuring a Life Orb Magic Guard Reuniclus. This is, this is a Pokemon I put on the very first team that I ever made for VGC back in Gen 5. I think Reuniclus is pretty good. I think this is kind of where the start of like power creep actually happened in VGC back in Gen 5. We got things like, you know, Volcarona, Reuniclus, Darmanitan, Tarakion, uh, all those genies and stuff like that. Like tons of crazy power creep coming out of Gen 5. And um, yeah, I think Reuniclus is like a really good mod that uh, is still usable today. But it's it's hard. It's hard to make it work, especially in restricted formats. Let's think of all the popular restricteds. Things like Shadow Rider, things like Ice Rider, things like Zacian, things like Yveltal, Kyogre, Groudon. Those are all Pokemon that have a good matchup versus Reuniclus. And it's not only that like they have a good matchup, it's that like every single team is built around enabling those Pokemon to do as good as humanly possible. So, it's just hard to make Reuniclus work. Why are we using Reuniclus over Alkazam, Papa Smurf says. The reason we're using Reuniclus over Alkazam is because Reuniclus was the most requested Pokemon on one of my recent YouTube videos. Every single day on any YouTube video, I always like to send people there and I, I like to ask, what Pokemon do you want to see me feature in the next video? And the Pokemon that everyone wanted to see when I asked and I sent them all over there for uh, whatever day that was, probably like two days ago, it was Reuniclus. So... Like, I think, I think like four or five people said they wanted to see Reuniclus. So, that's why we're using Reuniclus. I built a team around it that I felt could probably function to its fullest potential. And that's why we're using it. Um, you know, we've been using things like Rapidash, Alolan Ninetales, Gengar, Duraludon, Hydreigon. Uh, I have a really cool team featuring Garbink coming out um, soon. And, um, what is it? We're going to be using Titar soon. So, yeah, if you guys ever have ideas for Pokemon you want to see me use, just go to the newest YouTube video, leave a comment, and say whatever Pokemon comes to your mind that you want to see me use. And if enough people vote for it, which is usually like two or three, I'll probably try my best to make a team around it because it'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to try my absolute best. You know me. When I play games, I try my best to feature the Pokemon that we're using. I'm not that YouTuber that's just straight clickbait saying like, oh, look at me, we're going to win with Jigglypuff. And then we just never bring it. Actually, Jigglypuff's probably not bad. It has friend guard. But you know what I mean? Like, we're going we're gonna to try and use the Reuniclus in as many games as possible just to show the impact that Reg... Or, I'm going to call it Regigigas probably 10 times in this stream. Reuniclus has in these team building videos. So what's... I'm well, thinking about what I want to use too. You're, you're looking at the real time, like, ability of me to think about what I want to do. Crowback, I hit so hard in dynamic speed control in this gen, not having Prankster. It was already starting to like fade out though towards the end of like ultra sun and moon more people are already using whimsicott you know dynamic speed control definitely made crobat weaker but you know it used to be like if you were to use crobat and they had whims they could just taunt you and then tailwind so it's actually kind of like the same if you were to make a tier list of like speed control bonds crobat's still in like the exact same spot you have my boards too oh man we have so many cool boards that i actually should switch out all these boards the reason why i have these boards up here on the back right there is because those are ones that have like actually skated a lot and these ones are more of like the collector boards. But I have like a whole other collection of boards over there that I should probably just switch out every once in a while. But thank you. Alright, so. This is the first game that uh, I'm going into Reuniclus with. And again, this is on my alt account. I think I'm in Ultra Ball for the first three of these. And then we get to Master. Realistically, I think I'm in Ultra Ball for the first three of these. Because like I have to get both my accounts back to Master Ball. I did it, by the way. Spoilers. So we see Groudon Porygon. Right? And I'm thinking to myself, like, are you really going to Trick Room in front of a Reuniclus? And again, this is like a Magic Guard Life Orb Reuniclus. So, like, we hit like a truck no matter what we're doing. And we don't take that Life Orb damage because Magic Guard says you can only take damage from moves that actually hit you. So you're not going to be taking, like, Wildfire damage, Hail, Sandstorm, Life Orb, none of that. Like, Reuniclus is just going to be a big bully. Now, look, look at We're thinking about maxing, and I'm like, do I do it? Do I, do I max Nuck here? Do I max Nuck? Do I, I don't even freaking remember. If I max Nook that Porygon, I'm an absolute savage. I think I... Do I strike it? I didn't even see what I did. Yeah, a Jigglypuff has Friend Guard and Wigglytuff has Competitive. Right? A lot of people didn't know that. So, big Reuniclus. Literally, first game. The first game that we're playing, we're maxing the Reuniclus turn one Andy out here. Oh my goodness. 
Precipice Blades were able to eat that easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're firing back our own P Blades. Yeet delete. Some good damage right there. Foul play Reuniclus. Oh man, that's not going to be the play. That's not the play. And the big Mindstorm. That's a, that's a better play than the Max Nuck. The Max Nuck is important for this team. But like, it's okay. It's okay. I really thought they were going to do something a little bit different there. Anyways, that's fine. Like, we have a Lefty's Groudon too. Yeah, Jigglypuff's also good for Parashrap. I would agree. Jigglypuff's actually useful in certain situations. But yeah, we can just P-Blades. And I think we just Max Strike, right? Max Strike the Groudon. Like, I love that re this Reuniclus can be... where You can kind of tell we're playing it, like, low-key, like, a Vested Ogre. Right? A Pengi Vested Ogre, where you're just using it to enable teammates in certain situations, gain a little bit of uh, terrain control as opposed to weather. And then from there, um, you know, we can get speed control through the use of Max Strike. So we're in a good spot here. Like, I think we're in an okay spot with this Max Reuniclus. And now we got the terrain control. We hit like a truck if we actually wanted to use um, Max Mindstorm. Someone's talking about um, Jigglypuff still. Let's mute to Ghost and Dragon and Kamal Shadow Rider. Yeah, I think Jigglypuff's definitely usable. There's a Max Quake. Pretty okay. Into my Groudon slot. Incorrect targeting, I think. Because Groudon's going to be thick enough to eat that easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm a big fan of Lefty's Groudon on these sort of teams. So Lefty's Groudon's amazing. P-Blades hits, contact made, and now we're going to make their Groudon slower than my Groudon. So it's good. We're in a, we're in a good spot. We're going to get Lefty's Tick. If you send something else that's not max, I can protect my Groudon, get another Lefty's Tick, and go for another um, speed drop. So pretty good stuff. And I don't think we would have just KO'd with the Mindstorm. I don't think we would have KO'd. It's possible, but I don't think we would have. I do not think we would have. I think you had to do it just like that. Because they got the max quake boost. But the fact that like we're wasting some max turns and we actually have like dealt with the Porygon, we're in a pretty good spot right now. And Arena Quiz is still really healthy. So it's good. You know, I think we just pop the protect, chill. AV Solo with Giga Impact sounds kind of heat. I'm not gonna lie, it actually does. Solo needs some speed control. It would allow it to hit things like Zards and stuff like that. So that, that wouldn't be bad. Allowed to hit Entei. You max and relaxing? I am. Max and relaxing, acting all cool. Snarl. Well, now, like I care, right? Like I even care about Snarl. So you're going to soaks a little bit of damage. Um, that's the thing. It's like Soul's damage can be underwhelming, but it is what it is. So they go for the Max Quake here. Now remember, that Groudon's at minus one. So we have speed with our Groudon. They don't even KO because we got the big Protect Leftovers Energy. But even if they like left that alone, went after Reuniclus, maybe even got a KO on Reuniclus, we'd be able to sit on something that's just faster than Entei and Groudon, and we'd be able to win. So another Max Strike, and now we're faster than both Entei and Groudon with our Groudon. And do you see that like Reuniclus is the Pokemon that's like, we're doing our best to actually make it work. You say, why is Clefairy better than Jigglypuff? It's called Follow Me. <laughs> That's, like, actually the answer. Jigglypuff gets ally switch, but they're not the same, you know? It's it's literally just follow me. But yeah, we're in a good spot here. You can't go for you can't go for E-Speed. Oh, don't switch your ground. You can just win here, me. Come on, me. There we go. Click those P-Blades. Win those games. Don't even need to click this ally switch, but I'm going to do it, I think. Let's go. The degeneracy. First of many, right? Let's go over Uniclus. You ever seen someone... Use Reuniclus this well in your life? Against restricted Pokemon in the VGC 2022 Series 12 format? Oh, couldn't be me, professional Pokemon player. That's a plus one. Ally Switch popping off. Not that we really need it, but like, we're fine. P-Blades. <laughs> Groudon busted. Shout out to the leftovers. We critical hit their Groudon. We didn't need it, obviously, because we're the best player alive. You'd love to see a, a Jigglypuff team. You know, Mal. Oh, man, maybe next time. Hey, you got to go leave those comments on those YouTube videos. Leave a comment. I'll do it. I'll definitely do it. Yeah, that's a... We've about just lived through Leftovers, Chip. So, pretty good Leftovers. And we've already taken out three other mons. Yeah, I've seen Wigglytuff teams before. I, I've used Wigglytuff teams and Jigglypuff teams. I've used both before. But I do think uh, they're not nearly as cool as, uh, as your boy Reuniclus. And their last mons, Palkia. And I'm like, psh, psh, Palkia. You weak Palkia. And so I think we just go expanding. And we still have the terrain up. We're at minus one special attack because we got snarled. But like, 
I don't really think it matters. Palkia doesn't have any AoE, you know? I, I've not used an Igglybuff team. I have not. <laughs> but Wigglytuff's one of my favorite shinies. Hell with the green eyes. Special Rend coming out super hot. They ignore your boy Reuniclus. Maybe they thought they were playing around Ally Switch, right? Not today. And they're life orb. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeet delete. Expanding force. That's good damage from minus one Reuniclus. That's good damage. So the weirdness dissipates better late than never. And uh, we're just in a pretty good spot. Look at all these mods we have in the back. Easy. We don't even need to do anything special. We already saw the item on the Palkia. Like, Reuniclus literally won this game almost by itself. Special one's animation looks more physical than special. I fight against a physical Palkia in, like, one of the games in one of these days. Maybe it was yesterday. It was weird. Expanding. <laughs> Expandees, right? All right. So, Big Thunder, easy. Easy, easy. Reuniclus... Taking names. Taking names out here. And I bet you've never seen anyone take wins with Reuniclus. Someone had to do it, though. Somebody had to be doing it. It was me. And we'll check out the team for real quick here. Crobat with Wide Lens. I'm glad we didn't see that. that and it had Absorb to policy proc their Groudon, right? Oh, that's scary. There's the policy Groudon. Sash Grim. This guy was absolute maximum degeneracy. Maximum degeneracy on this guy. Big Ente. Is it Scarfed? I didn't even check. And the left of Life Orb Palkia. So cool seeing Renux again. It feels like forever. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. It's like 10 years since anyone used one of these things. All right. So we used the Reuniclus. <laughs> And I'm thinking to myself, like, I would also like to use Reuniclus again. But it's so bad versus, like, so many of the mons that exist. It's bad versus Kali. It's bad versus Urshi. Oh, it's so hard. Like, I'm still going to bring it, guys. I'm still going to bring it. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys. But, oh, they make it hard. They just make it so hard. Imagine if I literally had any other mon. <laughs> Imagine if I could just bring, like... A Grimmsnarl or like an Incineroar. Oh my gosh, that would be so nice. I'd win every time, you know. But now we're going to use Reuniclus and we're going to be fine. We're going to make it work. Make it work. Ah, uh, you know, truly strong trainers. You know, I bet you think, you know what you think I'm going to say. You're going to, you think I'm going to say, know how to win with their favorites. No, truly strong trainers know how to win with Reuniclus. That's what the real quote says. And that's going to be us. That's going to be us. Truly strong trainers know how to win with Reuniclus. So, into the Kyogre versus into the Ogre. Who wins this one? Who wins this one? Who do you think wins this one? What would you guys do in this situation? We see the Psychic Seeds activate, obviously. Mirror lead. That is correct. Oh, I'm such a bully. I am the biggest bully that's ever played Pokemon. <laughs> Scarf, Spout, Helping Hand. We're both going the Helping Hand play. Literally, the first person who hits their Spout, it's going to really, really, like, mess him up. So let's go. Ooh, that's so big. Oh, that's so big. Your Spout's so weak now. Yep, nice water spout. Nice weak water spout. A little bit of weak spout. Easy. Easy, easy. And you know what? That's all thanks to Reuniclus. The only reason they even thought they were going to do that is because they thought we were going to trick room. Reuniclus Entity baited them into thinking that that would be a good lead. So it's smart. And you see Kali. Kali's not bad. Kali, not that bad. I, I should just max my ogre here and do the exact same thing. Don't switch. You don't need to switch. Just max max your Kyogre. Come on. Come on past me from yesterday. Do it. Oh, don't come on. You don't even need to do it like that. Just well, there you go. You see, I, I played so I play so many games, I forget what happens in each one, and so I have to like continually tell myself to make the, the right plays in the past. 
but it's the right play. It goes to just a single target 150 base, plus the helping hand, like, if the Kali protects, uh, it takes a little bit of chip, and the next turn we just KO it. And if they max, they can't get up trick when we just bring in Zashi and win the game. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And this guy's like, what? He didn't bring the Reuniclus. <laughs> I don't need it yet. You you must, like, hang into the game long enough. You must KO enough Mons to force me to use Reuniclus. And we see them go first there. That means that, like, they are totally... I think that means they're Scarf too, right? That we were both Scarfed. That it was a maximum degeneracy incarnate. And we were just more degenerate. We just wanted it more than they did. So that's two Mons down. They haven't maxed yet, but like, what are you going to max your ogre? Like, go nuts, Chuck. Big Urshi. Urshi water. Yeah, I think we just hit the ogre, right? It doesn't really matter what happens here. Ogre sweeps. They're maxing something. I think they maxed their ogre here, right? And we just take it out and win. Skill difference. You're right. You're right. Outskilled. You are 100% correct. Outskilled. We still have good mons in the back like Reuniclus. <laughs> I actually like this um, follow me turn a lot. Because if you max the ogre, it means the Urshi would go first. And then it would bait the play from there. It would bait the attack from the Urshi. It means we just 1v1 their ogre and we win. See? Pretty good play. Like, and if you just went for, like, the spout close combat, like, that would have been fine. But, like, you would have lost your Kyogre for free. And then you would have been forced to match your Urshi and we just come with uh, Zashin and win. So they win another speed tie. Never lucky, but it's fine. Never lucky, but it's fine. And then I think we take out their Ogre this turn. And then we just have enough Mons in the back to deal with the Urshi. Cool beans. The power of Reuniclus in the team preview made this happen. <laughs> oh, man. Do I send the Reuniclus out right now or just the Zacian? I can just go Zacian. It's fine. Yeah, it's 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 correct to still go Zacian and then bring up the Reuniclus if they get the kill on anything. He set your terrain. I know. Appreciate it, fam. Love you a long time. Bulky Zacian. I've been a big fan of this bulky Zacian set for about six months, maybe even more. This is my last max turn. Doesn't really matter what I do. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They have a close to combat uh, defense drop, so it doesn't really, yeah, we just take those wins. You don't need to miss a player up here. They're probably Sash on their Urshi because they weren't Sash on their Indity, but we still have the monster to take it out. We take those. Reuniclus did all of its wins from the back. So again, let's just take a look at this. How does Reuniclus do against Wimscott? It's not that great. Against Shadow Rider, not that great. Against Zacian, not that great. Urshifu, against Urshi Dark, not that great. Against Charizard, not that great. It's hard to use these Mons that like have absolutely no business being in the meta. But they do bait the right Mons for our opponent to lead with what we want them to lead with. They're going to lead with their Taunt users. They're going to lead with their AoE Mons. They're going to be leading with their Speed Control Mons that also do a good job of denying our Speed Control. And so we can use that to our advantage. So when we hit them with something that's literally what they're doing, but just a little bit better, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So I'm sure you saw what we led with. Um, I think we led Ogre something. Ogre something. I think we led Ogre Indity, right? Sorry, Ogre Wimps. Ogre Wimps, I think. It's funny. It's like, that's a plus one. Featuring Reuniclus. World first. And then, like, Reuniclus doesn't really come that much. But we're, we're still trying. So Urshi wins, right? And so that would be a great lead against, like, Indity leads, against, like, um, Reuniclus leads, against any of that stuff. You know what that's not good against? Literally this. Like, this is a terrible lead versus what we're using. So that's plus one, just knowing how to use the team preview to my advantage. So we go Tailwind, they go Tailwind, we go Spout. One of their mons isn't sashed, right? What are you going to do if you're the opponent? I'm literally you, but just a little bit better. So we're going to go for Tailwind. They're going to go for Tailwind. One of these guys has a Sash. Which one do you think it is? What's the best, br best Brick Breaker that doesn't get one-shot by Zacian? You can put Brick Break on your Zacian. 
I mean, I like Brick Break on a lot of different mons. It's hard to say. It goes on. I I, th I think Rilla is probably one of the better ones. So we see non Sash Urshi, which means that was banded probably, and Eject Button wins. They tried to cheese me. They literally bought it. They brought an Eject Button mon. They went for the Whims Urshi. They could have went like Switcheroo Sucker Punch. They could have done it, but I didn't max right. So we take those. And another cool thing about this is because we forced an Eject Button. And we didn't just get a KO and leave something up. That means they're going to max one of these guys. Are they going to max the Thunderous or the Kali? What do you guys think? Oh, you don't need multiple Brick Break users. You don't need more than one. You know they're going to max the Thundy, right? You got to max the Thundy, right? Everyone knows you got to be maxing the Thundy. I, I love shutting down cheese teams like this. I absolutely like love shutting down cheese teams like this. He went for like the Banded Urshi Eject Button Trick Room Whims lead. And we're just like, say hello to my little friend. Thank you for respecting Reuniclus. Yeah, that's right. They maxed the Thundee, I think. I think they maxed the Thundee. And even though it's in a dust ball, I think that's what they're maxing here. Big, big max Thundee. Poor Thundee, man. Too soon. Too soon on Thundee. Because remember, we both have Tailwinds up. But like, I'm a Scarf Ogre, so I'm going to always outspeed that Shadow Rider. Switcheroo. I think I take a life orb, right? Eject button. Well, give me that life orb. Big spout. Oh my gosh. That's so nice. I love it. I absolutely love it. Peace. Peace, Dynamax. This is what this guy gets for trying to cheese me, by the way. This is literally what he gets for trying to cheese me, I think. Like, you can't tell me that someone that uses, like, eject button whims, like, Zacian, Shadow Rider, Thundee isn't trying to just, like, win the game in two turns. And, and Bandit Urshi. And I'm like, nah, fam, that's okay. And so I'm going to do something funny here. Because, like, you're not even going to do that much damage. Whims is still at 10%. I could have just attacked here. Um, but I think I go for... Um, I think I switch her into the Cali to make it... If it goes for an Astral, it would just get KO'd. <laughs> right? Because we give it a Life Orb. I like this play a lot. Because um, this also helps play around if they had, like, Cotton Spore or something weird. You know? You can't max your Ogre. You can't do it. If you max the Ogre, you're slower than the Kali. It doesn't work like that. You would lose. So we get the KO anyways. It really didn't matter, you know? But, like, I wanted to I wanted to trick it anyways. I, I think it was funny. And then against the Thundee, like, you got nothing. And so we just absolutely shut that one out. Shut it out of existence. And we take those, man. But yeah, you can't match your over there. You gotta keep your scarf. Gotta keep the scarf. That's the only reason why this even works. Would have been funny. I think we switched in the entity just to stop Thunder Wave, like gimmicks. Or we just no, we just double into it. Yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with just doubling into it. No, we would have lost. It would have. We would have lost the game if we did that. If we like switched our own ogre. <laughs> okay. So now we're, that was actually our last game to get back into Master Ball on my alt account, right? So now we're back in Master Ball so I can start like goofing around with Runiclus again. And of course our first game is going up against like Palkia, Kali, Ice. I think it's so hard to use these cheese teams when people have Grim Snarl because no matter what I'm trying to do, people can just be like, screens, speed control tech for your ghost and or psychic type Pokemon, which stops like almost all my cheese teams, right? Um, does Guard Swap pass over Eviolized boots, Boosts? No, I don't think it does, but it's kind of busted. So anyways, um, I think we go Reuniclus this game though. I do think we're going to go Reuniclus in this game because like I said, I got back to Master Ball so I can just goof around. Shoutouts to never dropping through Master Ball. We love to see it. It does pass Zamadensa's Dauntless Shield boost. Well, that's like an actual stat boost, you know? Like, it's an actual boost on its page. I don't know. Anyways, um, Grim Thundee versus Reuniclus Kyogre. Hmm, what do we do here? Remember, in the last game, we saw their degeneracy from their Eject Button Whims and their Choice Band Cheese Urshi, and we shut it down. How about in this game, we be even more degenerate? What would you do to stop this? You want to hit the Ogre. You might want to set a Light Screen, but you, I really don't want to get Thunder Waved. I really don't want to get taunted on my Runiclus. I really don't want to get Scary Faced. 
How about we just, uh, we just win? How about we just win, you know? Nothing wrong with just winning a little bit. I like winning. Runiclus is so rare to see in ranked. It's so rare to see someone winning with it in ranked. That's true. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm sure it has a lot more losses than wins. So Big Thundy, again, Grimmsnarl is a big jerk. He can literally just click light screen and make this way harder than it needs to be. So we see the light screen. It's way harder than it needs to be, but we're not out yet because if you hit my Kyogre slot with a max lightning, I got shots. There we go. Runiclus. This is how we use it. The world's biggest bait. He's a bait master if you will. And then, all we gotta do, we want to switch the entity here, take the terrain to make it so we can stop a scary face and or thunder wave. Because we still have to win. But yeah. Like, what else are we gonna do with Runiclus? You know? If that, if Runiclus was a shed engine there, they wouldn't have went for that. They would have just airstreamed something. And if they would have airstreamed, they'd be faster than Kyger would be boned. So I would say against this guy, there was like no other way freaking had to Doctor Strange this over 9,000 possible ways of winning this one we had to find the one flow chart that worked diamond how's it going with the big ally switch emotes yeah it got to do it to him sometimes see what you did there i'm glad so we come in with the entity to block any uh you know weird prankster stuff there's the taunt see they're trying to end this i'm like no no thank you and yeet the lead nice dynamax bro sometimes you just got to give him the gold scarf ogre the good old fashioned scarf ogre. Somebody has to do it to him. <sighs> you know, if two restricted format is staying until Scarlet and Violet, it's probably going to stay until Scarlet and Violet and after Scarlet and Violet come out until January 1st. So we still have like six more months of it. Layla Ogre doesn't sound bad. You're right, it doesn't. You know what sounds just as good? Reuniclus. Reuniclus Ogre doesn't sound bad either. And we're still a full. Like, we still got the big Kyogre here. So I'm thinking to myself, like, I still got the Reuniclus. If you trick room me, I just bring the Reuniclus out, right? I'm like, if you trick room me, the Reuniclus is about to be popping off here. I underspeed your Cali. That's one of the reasons why we have, we're using Reuniclus over something else, you know, like Alakazam or Layla or something like that. Like, if you trick room me, I'm going to come out and just do a ton of damage. Um, I do think, though, that it's the right play to respect the Cali because I think the Cali would probably do something defensive. Maybe it'll protect. Maybe we'll try and trick room. Maybe just lose it. And then, like... Palkia would get like a one-shot it from the Reuniclus in the back if they set Trick Room. So I think we just max the Kyogre because Kyogre is like so good against both these. Um, not really that much they can do about it. So shout outs to the big Reuniclus, big Kyogre. I need to get Reuniclus plush, man. Do they even do it? I don't know if they make those. I've never seen one. So there's a Protect Cali. Good play. Nothing wrong with Protect Cali, in my opinion. Absolutely nothing wrong with Protect Cali. So it's going to take a lot of damage from this, though. Uh, Reuniclus was good back in, like, 20, 2014 it was usable. I used it back in, like, 2011. And uh, it's good. I think it's a cool mon. I think it's a lot better in single. It's just as, like, a bulky bruiser mon. I should. No, I don't need to. I don't need to follow me. I think this is fine, just to make sure we take out the Cali, because there's not that much they can realistically do about it. 2015, it was good. Was it in 2015? Wait, did people use Reuniclus in 2015? I don't know if I ever saw people using it in 2015. Maybe, maybe it was there. I, I'm sure it was probably used, but like, I think there was too much Titar Exodus in 2015. There are too many Megas. Like, Kang Crush... I guess it existed. Yeah. But it would have just been leftover stuff from 2014. You know? Because it was one of the only good Trick Room setters in 2014, in my opinion. <laughs> you have no idea, Lamau. So we take out the Kali. Not really that much they can do with, like, just Palkia. You know? 23rd champ used it and got top 16 at Worlds in 2015. Did he really? Arash, I like Arash. Um, he's always used really, really cool teams. I, I didn't, I don't remember him using it in 2015. I don't remember it being in 2015, really, though. 
Mon, I don't think I've ever seen used as Behem. I, is it in the decks? <laughs> can we can we use Bahim? Bahim? Does it get anything that makes it even slightly better than Reinclus in any way? At all? Does it have like one less speed? I have absolutely no, no idea what that Mon does. Anyways, Expanding Force comes out. Is indeed in the decks. Baheim. Reuniclus was used in the early regionals. That's weird to see people actually using Reuniclus because, like, Hatterene's better than, than it in, like, every way. And Titar Exodal again is everywhere back then. Huh. Gets an analytic. I'm not a fan of that ability. I've never really been a fan of analytic, like, at all in any situation. I always just think that you're better off with, like, it's too reactive. It's like, please don't kill me. And then I might win, and it's like, why don't you just win, you know? <laughs> and then we just won. I like telepathy a lot better. Alright, telepathy! That's a reason to maybe use it. Alright. Well, I don't even know, where, where do I catch behind? I don't want to use a, what is it, an ability capsule? I, don't, I would not want to ability patch one of those things. Anyways, we're talking about using Reuniclus. I don't want to bring Reuniclus to fight the Mono Dark team. Right? Look how hard it is to make Reuniclus work in Sin, Grim, Sableye, Urshi, Yveltal. And they're like, but you can bring Reuniclus to fight the Eternatus. And it's like, it's so hard. It's so hard, man. I like how they have like five Dark Mons though and like one, ste one Poison type. They're like, better watch out, fairies. <laughs> I don't think we've used a Lucky yet. Do we use a Lucky this game? This looks like a great game for a Lucky if I'm not, if I don't know if I'm using it. Dark types are my favorite types. It's my second favorite. So back in the day, I used to be a part of a Facebook group. This is probably 2007, 2008, going to 2009. Those three, that three year period. And uh, it was one of those Facebook groups that had like thousands and thousands of members. And it was one of those ones where, like, you have, like, a gym leader, like, an elite four gym leader situation where um, it was, like, a Facebook battle group based on, like, Pokemon where people would challenge the gym leaders. And once they beat all the gym leaders or the elite four, they could then challenge, like, the champion. And basically, the gym leaders or elite four members had to have, like, specific types of Pokemon. And basically, there's a lot of Facebook groups that do this now still to this day. And there's a lot back then that did it. But what set ours apart back then... <laughs> was we were way better at, than everyone else. And so like we could use the bad mons and we'd still beat these people that were metagaming the crap out of us. Um, and so basically we went for like two years without ever having anyone like even get to challenge the champion, right? Um, I, I had two types. I had bug and dark. Those are my types. And I, I won a lot of, I, I, I won probably eight or 90% of my games. It was a lot of fun. It was a good, good, good time back in the day. All, all it takes is like correct use of like sashes, uh, hazard denial, and like choice scarfs, and you could you, these Pokemon back in the day. You you could still win with anything, you know. Volcarona was cracked, Heracross cracked, like a lot of Scizor busted. So many good mons for bug. People would be like, I'm gonna bring fire types, and I'm like, Heracross gets Stone Edge. Like I'm coming in hot, you know. Anyways, we're doing okay here. But yeah, it was a fun. It was fun doing the Facebook group. I'm still friends with a lot of those people actually, like in real life, because we we all had to like theory craft and like set up, you know, like how we would do it. We worked as a we worked as a, a unit as a squad. It was a lot of fun. Like I'm still friends with all those people to this day. The fact that I haven't automatically lost this game is just like ridiculous. By the way, I don't know if anyone's even watching the game. Like, there's no reason why I should even be able to hang on here. You just set has you just set screens or something, and I just can't do anything. But I think I max the ogre here. <laughs> max into the amount. I think we take out the grim, deal with the yveltal, and then bring out something else to compend. Big Kyogre energy. I'm trying to remember what exactly the play is here. Yeah, they're maxing two. Give me one sec to check something. I 
All right, I just wanted to make sure that was working as intended. Just realized when building a rush ramp team, decided to watch some Reuniclus action. There you go. Why not use both of them? Gen 5, stay alive. There's the follow me. I will say, since we have a little bit of downtime right now, don't forget to sign up for tomorrow's Patreon tournament. Don't forget to sign up for tomorrow's Patreon tournament. Please don't forget. It's completely free to enter for everyone a part of Patreon. Um, it starts tomorrow early in the morning, and um, we'd, we'd be happy to have you. It'd be a lot of fun. I brought my rain team over from BDSP Labras, King Drapelper. Good luck. Good luck. So I think they airstreamed there, which is a good play. I think we can still have to keep our energy levels busted. But yeah, it's really hard to like grind out these Yveltal teams. Um, Yveltal is just a big bully for these sort of squads. Sash, Urshi, Dark. Yep, just gonna redirect. I think I Hailstorm. Oh, it's so good. Come on, just show me the Hailstorm. Do it. Oh, why am I lightning? I got a Hailstorm. There we go. Magic Heart Jump Tournament. I don't even know what that is. Should I know what that is? I don't know what that is. Magic Heart Online Competition. There's two people asked me that. I'm not. I don't know what that is. I heard the thing about the Yu-Gi-Oh! creator. Yeah. You know, I've read every single manga. I own almost all of the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga. Uh, I was a pro Yu-Gi-Oh! player for a long, long, long time. I still have tons of Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! is probably more important to my life if not more than like pokemon as to like who i am you know and so that's really sad you know actually that, that scares me a lot it's like these people that you see make it are people that people look up to same thing kind of goes for like streamers and youtubers and other content creators as well people like make it and they're like ah look at this like piece of media that this person made like wrote a book or made a movie or made these videos and stuff like that and everyone says like oh good for you that's great and then, like, you see them, like, mysteriously die after, like, like 10, 15 years after you consume that content. And it's like, holy shit, like, how much of a toll did making that content, like, take on these people to where they were not even able to live, like, a normal lifespan after it? That's, that's so scary for me. You see it a lot, you know? <laughs> I'm not gonna bring, I'm not gonna play in the Magikarp tournament. I haven't seen anything about that. But yeah, it's, it's really, it's scary, you know? Like how how hard it is to actually be a content creator and be tied to like stuff that's really, really tied to like deadlines. And then these people, they just, they, they can't last. And that's scary, you know? I don't know why or anything about that, but or, or about the specific content creator and how it happened. But you see this stuff happening a lot more to where like streamers got a timer on them. Same thing goes for obviously like manga cause and you know voice actors, other game creators and stuff like that. I'm a legend if I'm going geyser this turn, right? Yeah, I, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Like I have so much cool Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. I should show you guys my Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff sometime. That's a that was a good geyser, because it makes it so um yeah, it makes it so we don't get killed on our lucky spot. Unless they attacked it with Sableye. Oh, that was a good play from them. Snorkeling accident. Okay. Well, then that's good. I didn't know how he actually passed away. Because, like, I just assumed it was, like, something terrible happened to him. So then that's, that's well, I mean, terrible, like, like natural causes. That sucks. Remind me to never go snorkeling. Ever. All right, so this, the Dark Squad's still here. Shark Bites. Ooh. I'm gonna look that up. That's creepy. You know, believe it or not, like, I'm, I'm not someone who's, like, super afraid of sharks or knows anything really about sharks more than what most people would know, but I do know this. Sharks are, like, just as afraid of you as you are of them. Like, if there's anyone that's, like, actually really afraid of sharks, I don't think you need to be. Um, maybe you're, you should be afraid of like big, big sharks, like, you know, big great whites or big tiger sharks that are like way, way too big. I'm talking like 15, 16 plus feet, but like a, an eight foot blue shark, you're good. You know what I mean? No, I, I'll look it up myself. That's just my opinion on sharks. I've watched a few documentaries about it and how like they just show that like sharks don't really know what you are. And if they're going near you, they're just kind of like getting a feel for what you're going to do, you know? 
More likely to be killed by a dog. That's true. Water puppies. Yep. Do I want to do Dynamax Adventures? I wish. I wish I could do a Dynamax Adventure. We gotta take these wins first. I remember one time I was at Venice Beach. I was just I was just chilling. I was chilling at Venice Beach, right? I was on the beach and I saw like the waves happening and surfers in the waves and I saw sharks in the waves at Venice Beach. And this I was this was like a while ago. I was actually there for a regional and uh, I went to Venice Beach one of the days. And um, yeah, this guy rage quitted it up. Yo, we take those unwinnable matchup, I would say, and we won that one. Um, and I went to the lifeguard. I was like, hey, there's sharks up there. He's like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you know, your sub didn't pop up. No. Went surfing last weekend. First time in a decade. We should cut my ankle a little bit. Had me bleeding. Immediately done for the day. Not about to attract a shark. Okay, that makes sense. Like if I were bleeding, I would definitely hop out. I'm so sorry I didn't share your sub. I'll put some subs up. Oh, this is the game. This is the game. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me share this up. Okay, so you guys see this match. This is my Rapidash team, right? This is my Rapidash team, right? I use this on stream. I made the rental code. So the only way you can use this team is if you're like on my Patreon. So I don't know who this is, but they're, they're, using, my, they're using my Patreon team. So this team is up on Patreon as well. If anyone wanted to use it, see the Poke Paste, all that stuff. So... I'm going to try my best to understand a mechanic that I didn't know existed in this game. And I want you guys to understand if you guys can, if you guys knew this, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. But it's a, it's a weird mechanic. You see what I'm, I'm going to lead here is my Whims Aleki, right? Because I know that team is super reliant on Dynamaxing the Venu, especially in this matchup. And I know that the Venu, because it's my set, right? It can't outspeed Lecky. So if I were to go for a switcheroo on their Venu, doesn't matter what they pair it with, because there's no fake out user on that team, I can just go for an Electro and get the Venu off the board, right? That sounds like it's a win. It's a win and in. It's a good play. Um, I'm faster than the Ogre. Like, literally, this is a, this is a, I'm super metagaming someone that's using my own team. I don't even know if they know it's me because I'm, I'm on my alt account as well. But the emotes on the screen are new. Yeah, I like the emotes on the screen. I think it helps. Anyways, it's, it's a vested Venu. So they, they lead Whims and Venu. It's a vested Venu and it's an eject button Whims. Right? So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, if you tailwind, I don't care. How long have you had him like that? Probably two weeks. Two weeks, I think. But I think it's I think it's it's a welcome change, right? I think it's good. So you're seeing what I'm gonna do. I go for the switcheroo, because even if you tailwind, I'm still faster than you. And I go for the electro web. So, right? We're gonna go for the Do you guys understand what mechanic's gonna happen? Do you guys understand what mechanics gonna happen here? Let me just ban this guy real quick. Ban the bot. There we go. All right, so they go for the tailwind. We go for the switch on the Venu. How many of you guys know what's gonna happen here? So right now, both of their mons have eject buttons. Right? Both of their mons have eject buttons. Do you guys know what happens when two mons have an eject button and they both get hit? Show of hands. What happens? Do you guys do you guys know what happens when two two mons both have an eject button and get hit? The field implodes. <laughs> It's a weird situation, right? I've never seen it happen either. So the electro web happens. The first eject button activates on the whimsicott. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm like doing this. I'm also like editing my videos while I'm playing. And so like I, I looked, I've looked away. And so I know that the whims has to switch out and then I'm assuming the venue has to switch out, but uh, someone guessed it earlier. Only the faster user switches first. Right? Isn't that crazy? 
the faster user switches first, and it's not even that they switch first, it's the only one who switches. And the way the game's coded, only one eject button can happen at once. They can't stack. So like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking away editing. I have the screen like minimized. I'm looking back right about now and seeing that I got hit with a vine lash and thinking to myself like, no, I hit that Binu. Yeah, I definitely agree that's not as intended. That's like a coding, they, they probably just had to code it that way to get the whole engine to work. But so I sent out a Pokemon and I'm like, I hit that Binu. I, my, my brain is going like, I had to go back and rewatch the VOD. I was like, what? <laughs> Will Tank, how's it going? Yeah, look at the Venu. I'm like, I hit it. I hit the Venu. Why did it not activate? And so I'm like, well, <laughs> that's the game. <laughs> they got the Vine Lash. I mean, it still has an Eject mode, but I'm like, I'm fucking good, you know? I'm like, you gotta have this one. Also, the person's using my rental team, a rental, t like, my own personal rental team that I made. So, like, they can have the points. Yeah, they both had an eject button because the whims had one the whole time and I switcheroo over my whims' eject button into their Venu. So now you guys know, only one eject button can happen at once. I switcherooed it over. So they take the wins. You know, it's funny. I've played Super Degenerate all day and of course I finally get punished, right? <laughs> I played like Max and the Runiclus using it as bait, ally switching around. In theory, could have been proc next turn. Yes, it could have, but, like, I just let him have it. Just because, like, I really wanted to, like, go back and watch my VOD and understand, like, what happened. So, I just let them have it. And note that I ran instead of just, like, rage quitting. It takes, like, two seconds to run. It takes, like, literally two seconds to run. Just run. You know? So, anyways. This is, uh, the next game. Ludicolo. Stila. Marowak. It's not easy for a Uniclus guy out here. You know what I mean? It's not the easiest thing. But yeah, I didn't know that, like, did anyone else know that? I think Aki knew that, but, like, I didn't know that. That you could only activate, like, if two eject buttons are happening at the same time, only one activates. I just didn't know. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Knowing that, you might be able to, like, beat other eject button teams by just letting your teammate have that holds an eject button. Like, like let's say for example, like if you think I'm gonna go like Colpult and policy proc and all that stuff and they you have an eject button user and your plan is to like switch a roomie and have me policy self hit myself, right? To proc, I can just like take your eject button, hard switch in my other mon, you hit me with your AOE attack, it forces out my other guy and then re-brings out my other guy who can then just like do whatever and I get to kill one of your mons. Like you can use that to your advantage, you know? Celesteela is nonsense, I agree. Yeah, you, you're, people are allowed to rage quit. You know, I don't think there's a problem with that. It just, if, as long as you're not doing anything, it doesn't take any more time, you know, just to run from the game. So yeah, you see what we got? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Do I max strike here? Yeah, I think you. I think it's always a good idea to max something. I think you max the Renekton here. That's definitely. I know I'm maxing it and doing something. It's just such a hard play because like Mindstorm's good, Strike is good. We don't know which one of these they're maxing. They could be like a Wall Steela with like Wide Guard, Weech Seed stuff like that, or they can be a Max Steela. So it's really hard to say which one they're gonna do. Dark Blaziken. Is it supposed to be Blaziken like the Pokemon or Dark Blaziken like the Street Fighter character? But anyways, that's enough about that eject button nonsense. The only mechanic I knew with eject button is that it used a pivoting move. It eject button procs, the opponent is forced to switch, but you cannot switch out. Yeah, I, I had that happen recently too. There's so many weird things where like, I think the code of the game, ha it it's so tight in the things that it actually does. Like to be able to deal with like dynamic speed control, like the engine really had to be like leveled up, you know, to be played a certain way. And so it makes it so... When weird things happen, throw a wrench in it, it kind of just skips things, right? So yeah, we just go for Steela. I just want to get the Steel off the board, and we get the Para. That Para is so freaking clutch on this Thunder. Oh my gosh, I'm the, literally the luckiest person in the world. Not only do I paralyze their Steela, 
Bro, I don't even get paralyzed back? Like, oh, it's so nice. It's fine that we don't... It's fine that our ogre is down there, too, because, like, we're going to be doing good stuff to their ogre here. Had to be a lot of change in the code for instance, speed mechanics. I would agree. It has a ton... There's a ton of little rare bugs. But, like, yeah, basically what it comes down to, though, is every, every single time there's a bug, it basically just, like, skips a mechanic. Like, something kind of breaks and it skips something. You know? And so you can see they're also probably Scarfed Ogre, judging by how much damage that did. It's a lot of damage, by the way. I really wanted to get up the terrain early, too, because I think they had some mons that I was afraid of having priority moves. And now look what we got in the back. We can send out either Zacian or Leki. They're both good here. You know? The reason I think I wanted to go... Why did I go Zacian over Leki? Oh, yeah, because I have Marowak. Yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to go Zacian just in case the Marowak came out, because, like, Marowak's a big jerk. Do I max strike the ogre? That's such a bad play. Don't do that, me. Come on, just mindstorm the ogre. Competitive team invoices. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Like a rental code? I've never heard it phrased that way. A competitive team invoice. We're at, well, can I request a request for... <laughs> I don't even know, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, Steel Spike. Zashi needs that like a champ. We're fine. And so the plan here is to get the... Uh, we're trying to waste the turn maximums on the Steela, right? That's kind of what we're trying to do. And we're just kind of trying to finish off the Ogre. And then from there, uh, Marowak. Gotta deal with the Marowak. I like that we went for that too. Um, the Strike. Just to kind of mix it up just a little bit. Autocorrect is a pain. <laughs> I'm not trying to meme on you, guy. <laughs> There's the Marowak. And I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, Marowak, what's the play here? Are you going to double into my Reuniclus? Or are you going to ally switch? That's the big thing. Because I'm like, I could just double into this Marowak and get it off the board. I would also really like to go for a Sacred Sword into the Steela. But I'm thinking to myself, like, I can two-shot the Marowak with Behemoth Blade if I hit it. So there's so many things. I can go max guards. I can do like literally so many different things here. And if we take out the Marowak, we just win the game easy with Leki, right? So I think you got to get the Marowak off the board and you got to just be like, okay, I'm going to like low key cover both my options. Big sub for Reuniclus. Yes, please. Uh, we go for the Behemoth Blood and the Steela just because it's like still good damage. And like I said, it would two shot the Marowak. Let's put some subs up. I need to build a team. Sorry, a dark team. Hmm. Six singles. I have no tips for dark teams and singles, my friend. I have absolutely none that would be applicable to this format. Zashian doesn't get KO'd. Yeah, I, know, I know the subs are right over the health bar, but Zashian's fine. Steel Spike. Zashian finally goes down. But you know who also is going down? Sugar were going down. Is Marowak. Like... And I bet you they thought, like, I bet you they thought if I had Lucky, I would have brought it out instead of Zashian, right? So that's why they're thinking, like, that's fine if I lose Marowak. I don't need it anymore. And they do need it. Because I have the power of Regileki. The big boy himself. Let's go. I actually used a really, really cool rental team that was given to me by one of my Patreons on uh, YouTube today. Rental code is up on YouTube if you guys want to check that out. So Steel is out of max turns, Reuniclus is out of max turns, but I still have uh, Expanding Force on the board for a couple turns. So big damage potential right now. Scarf Lucky's pretty pog, I would agree. You know what else is pog? Thunder! I would say Thunder is pretty pog, not gonna lie. Double Reggie team slapped. Yep, they went for the Eerie Impulse. Remember, I went out of my way to set the uh, Psychic Terrain early, because I was afraid of the Thundee. That's a thick Thundee, by the way. Full special attack, Lecky. Oof. That's fine, though. It's absolutely fine. We get the full pair on the Steel, not that it really mattered. And the big expanding force from Reuniclus coming in hot. Look at the damage. It's so nice. <laughs> the damage is just so good. And then the Steela here. 
Not that much left it can do. This guy's like, no way you saved your Lecky all the way to the end. And we take those wins. It's crazy how Dundee can be so frail and so bulky. I agree. Dundee's pretty busted. But that was pretty much it. That was it. We played with Reuniclus quite a bit. We maxed it like three times. We had like two or three games where we got sick ally switches off. This is literally like the best this Pokemon can do. If every single team you're going up against has two Restricteds, one of them probably being Zacian, one of them being like a Calyrex, a Kyogre, a Groudon, or like a Yveltal, it's damn near impossible to make this thing work. But you know what? We tried our best. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked it. I tried really hard to make Reuniclus work and uh, I think that we did. I'd like to think that we did.